everybody and welcome to part two on how to make a chapbook or zine or chapbook history or whatever we're doing here. Since, you know, it's been like 45 seconds since I recorded the last video, I, I thought of some things. And if we were going to talk about history and all this stuff, people have been putting out chapbooks and zines and stuff since there was print. Okay. And probably there were people doing it since there was paper. Okay, just like scribbling on it. But like one of the biggest things that people always talk about when it comes to like chapbooks and zines and stuff like that is Walt Whitman. Like Walt Whitman put out Leaves of Grass like this. Okay. And um, that's a awesome thing to do. Basically all making chapbooks and making zines are, it's just self-publishing. Okay. But it's self-publishing without, like, dealing with Amazon, without dealing with a print shop. Unless you want to get your stuff printed in a print shop, that's fine, too. Um, but it's just, like, you putting your heart and soul into not only the words on the page, but the construction of the whole thing in general. And then you are the one who goes out and pushes the product, pushes that and sells it, gives it to people as gifts, whatever, you know? And it's a really fulfilling thing. And I swear to God, like anyone who thinks this is stupid or kind of lame or whatever, I challenge you to make something like this and make some copies of it and either hand them out for free or sell them for a dollar or whatever you want to do and just see how you feel doing it. Okay, because it's going to change your life. Like it's, like it's, addicting for sure. Um, the other thing about it is people who bitch about things being like, oh, that's a vanity press and all this other stuff. I was thinking about it, and I think it's more vain to hide your work from the public until a big um, publishing house gives you enough like accolades and validation to put your book out like really like who's the vain one here like i'm not going to share myself with anyone unless it's in a big prestigious press that's the most vain fucking thing i've ever heard that's vanity all that's vanity this is not vanity this is just getting your work out there because we're creators we're writers and it's our job to tell the world the things that we create so really let's look at this with what it is, you know, Jesus fucking Christ. So with that said, my tips, what we're going to talk about right now is kind of development. Okay. Like how we're going to put this together. If you are doing this from your writing, then you're halfway there. Okay. And you could just start putting this together. One of the things I would say to do, whether it is a a poetry thing or a short story thing or a novella or anything like that, figure out what you're going to do. Okay. And then if it's a collection of stuff, because if it's not a collection of stuff, this is easy. You're already off to the races right now. But if it's a collection of stuff, try to think of how you're going to theme this. Is this going to be about something or is this going to be a collection of your just your work or is it going to be a collection of your work from a short window in time you know like come up with what the fuck that is and then come up with like a name for it like name your book okay that's that's a huge thing because once you name it it's easier to find the stuff to put in it because you have a clear vision as to what it is now if you are, are starting from total scratch Okay, total scratch here. And maybe you're not even a writer. You just kind of want to make a zine or a chapbook. What you should do is kind of write a list out of all the things you're interested in, right? Like, are, are you into wrestling? Are you into pop music? Are you into Call of Duty? Are you into Twin Peaks? Like, whatever the hell it is you're into, Write all this stuff down and try to figure it out and go, okay, these are the things I'm into. Now, can you come up with different things you could write about each of those things or just one of those things? Or is this going to be more of a thing like 
this is who you are. You're into all of this shit. And now your zine and chapbook thing is just going to turn into like a scrapbook of what you're into. So you got to figure all this shit out. And then I would say once you figure that out, you got to figure out how you want to present this. Is this something that you are going to like type and format on the computer and then put out? Or is this something where you're going to all the shit that you're thinking about print it out? And then cut all the stuff out so you could like tape it and glue it onto like a master sheet that you could like take to FedEx or Kinko's or whatever and print it out. So you got to figure that stuff out. Um, then you got to figure out how pages lay. Okay. And the way pages lay, this is a bit different for, um, I mean, this is not different, but there's different ways you could figure this out. Basically, if you took a bunch of paper and you folded the paper. Do I have any paper here? No, okay, perfect. So just take a paper and let's say, take eight sheets, okay? And fold it like this, okay? So take a sheet like this and fold it. So it's like this. And then open each page and even the cover. Put a one on the cover, a two on the inside page, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go through the whole thing. Um, and I think that would give you, what, 32 pages there? And write what number each what each page is what. Then when you take that apart, you can start putting together how it's going to look on the thing. Or if you had a program like Create Booklet or a program like InDesign, you could do it that way. JH sent me a screenshot of his like printer interface where you can take a PDF and when you go to print it, it gives you the option to do booklet. If it gives you the option to do booklet, then you, you don't have to do anything and boom, it's done. There you go. You know, I've been asked questions like how many poems do you put in a chat book? And again, it's not based on a number of poems. It's based on page, page count. Okay. So if I have a 32 page chat book, and I think I talked about this on the podcast, I think 32 is like a perfect number. It just, it's. It feels good. It's not hard on a very basic stapler. It, it's just, it's good. 32 pages is nice. You can go 36, you could go 28. It doesn't matter, but you have to know that every sheet of paper you add to a book is going to turn it into four pages, okay? So if you have like 31 pages, you're gonna have a blank page. If you have... 33 pages, you're really going to have 36 pages. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's it's in fours, okay? Quick math. So, um, as far as, like, printing goes, and this is for me, I used to print on both sides of my cardstock for my covers. And again, you don't have to use cardstock for your covers. Like, the first, like, hundreds of different zines and chapbooks I made the front cover was the same paper as the inside paper. Like, it, it, I didn't do anything different. But, um, so here, we're going to use this as an example again, because it's right here. I was using it earlier. So this is uh, the Poems About Effin. I don't print on the inside cover anymore or on the back. Wait, 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 wait for it. Or on the back. Um, I did start printing on the bottom um, or on the back cover which is fine because that's just one move through the printer. It just pushes that out. But when you have a printer that prints on both sides and you have it set up to like print one side and then pull the paper back in and print the other side, if your paper is thick at all, it's going to fuck it up. If you're like paper paper for the interior pages, like anywhere over 20 and even at 20 pound, you're still going to have problems every once in a while. It's when it gets pulled back in to get printed again, that's where you get your paper jams. Somebody give me some peanut butter and some bread because I got enough paper jams in here to make sandwiches for all of us, okay? Let's just be real. So you got to be aware of that stuff. You have to be aware if you have a home printer um, how much ink you're going to use. Again, use grayscale if your printer offers a grayscale option because your ink will just last tons longer. Tons longer. 
okay? Don't just do straight black. And I would say too, play with different kinds of ink if you have a bunch of color, like if you have a full color printer, play with different kinds of um, ink for the like text. It's fun, you know? If you even want to make your ink last longer, try to use a lighter black, like a lighter gray color for your text, you know? And it'll, it, cause honestly, ink gets fucking expensive if you're making a lot of fucking chapbooks, dude. Like, you're gonna be buying ink every two seconds. I actually need to order paper today. I just remembered I'm out of newsprint and it, it's not time for my, uh, monthly supply so i gotta order that but um i have ink i have two xl cartridges that come i think now they come every two months and i probably should just push it up to every month but i don't know i go through a lot of ink i go through a lot of paper and that's why i've been um that and how long it takes to put stuff together um especially me doing more stuff than I've been doing. It just, it takes a while and I'm, I'm starting to go like, wow, like most of my day is spent folding paper. This is just a bunch of little tips and stuff for you. I guess um, the next video would be me making a chat book and I don't have a chat book to make right now. So let me think about this for a minute. I don't know what poems are going to be in March's chapbook yet, but I think I know what book. I have every month planned out up until next January for the chapbooks that I'm going to make. So um, maybe maybe I'll put together April's chapbook on a video here. Um, it won't be. Um, it probably won't be till the weekend before I could get to to do that. But yeah, so um, that'll be interesting. That'll be fun. So if you have any specific questions about chapbooks or zines or how to make them or what to do with them or anything like that, please let me know in the comments of this video so I can continue to make videos about this because everyone asks the same starting question, like how do you make a chapbook? I think a lot of us actually really know how to do a lot of this stuff. We just like don't know what order to put it in or you have like an actual question that you're unsure about. Like, um, the question I got last week when it was like, well, like how many poems do you put in it? Like, that's a, that's a good question. You know, it's a question about a specific thing. So if you have a question about something like that, ask it and we'll put it together and figure it out. Okay. And that's what I'm here for. So till then keep buying my books, poems about effing at my Etsy shop. Type hard, everybody staple hard. And everyone go get one of these. Screw long arm staplers. If you are going to start making stuff, this is the most inexpensive, badass way to go. Just saying. Okay? So, until next time, everyone, I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.